Folks, welcome in to another edition of Appalachian Mountain Wrestling Television. Nathan Little here alongside Ryan Dukey. Ryan, what do we got today, buddy? Another great program today in action. You're going to see Kyle Maggard in the opener. We're going to take a look at the newest chapter in the John Noble versus AMW champion Stan Sierra battles. And in your main event, we have the family, Bo James and Mega Destroyer with Misty versus Eddie Browning and Jordan Clearwater. Well, let's not wait, guys. Let's get right to the action. And we are off and going here. AMW TV on Heroes and Icons. A Dookie, Ooh. El Degato the third, uh, looks to have his hands full here. I think El Degato is going to want a hero after something like that. And a ooh, rough shoulder tackle. And a quick suplex. Kyle Maggard looking to make quick work of El Degato. Kyle Maggard absolutely on a Former AMW eight. Kyle Maggard was their first ever, oh, with the big chop, first ever Appalachian Mountain Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. And he's, uh, El Degato's in front of him right now. Oh, those chops are so tough, but what's ahead of him, what he's got his eyes on after this, is Stan the Man Lee. They've been brawling, had some, had some, uh, I, I, I don't mean to interrupt you, but if, if if Stan Lee is watching right now, he's got to be shaking in his boots. Look what Kyle's doing to El Degato. Oh, goodness, big side slam, too. One count, excuse me. But yeah, absolutely, Stan Lee not allowed on AMW television at the moment, and I don't know what's going on with that. Oh, and a reversal again. Kyle going for it. Oh, he hits it. You're a Nagi out of nowhere, ladies and gentlemen. One, two, and three. That's it, let's ring the bell. Kyle Maggard making quick work of El Degato the third. And folks, here we are. Kyle Maggard, a former Appalachian Mountain Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. Quick work of your opponent here tonight, Kyle, but I got to know you've issued the challenge October 7th to stand a manly he refused to kiss the flag after you beat him fair and square in the ring in Hyde, Kentucky. And I got to know what you're thinking. You're right, Nathan. He refused to kiss the flag. That was the agreement. When I beat him one, two, three, he was going to get down on his knees and kiss Big Blue. But here at Appalachian Mountain Wrestling, they make their wrestlers live up to their agreements. So with him being suspended now, I think I'll just set my, my sights. I'm beating up his buddies, the Mega Destroyer and Bojangles. First of all, you don't need to be out here talking bad about my friend, Stanley, all right? I just got off the phone with my friend, and he's going to be delivering you a message. See, that's what I'm talking about, Nathan. Garbage like that. So, Stan, I got a message for you. October the 7th. A.B. Combs Elementary, I'm ready for you. All these people are going to come see me pin you to the mat. One, two, three. Wrestling, a love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand, a brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory to main eventing in Korokan Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Collar and elbow. The Wrestling Brand. Kyle Maggard here with Appalachian Mountain Wrestling, the premier wrestling organization in Southeast Kentucky. No, no, Southeast United States. Now our offices get flooded with questions day in and day out about how you can get your Appalachian Mountain Wrestling merchandise. Well, I'm here to tell you now, you can go to ebay.com, search Appalachian Mountain Wrestling, find our online store there. You can get your own Appalachian Mountain Wrestling shirt that I'm wearing. You can get all of our special DVD tapings, whether it's Thanksgiving Turmoil, Hardwired, Weekends of Champion, Summer Bash. Get your special superstar photos. 
Get them signed, get them unsigned. Prices may vary, but the pro all the products are the same, and that's simply the best, because we're Appalachian Mountain Wrestling, and we're making wrestling great again. Folks, the Appalachian Mountain Wrestling Back to School Bash Tour heads to Inez, Kentucky, Shelton Clark High School. Their first time in Martin County. You've got to be there September 28th, this Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. Doors open 6.30. Get those tickets while you can. And, hey, another first for Appalachian Mountain Wrestling. We head to Blackie, Kentucky, Fletcher Elementary School, September 30th. That's this Saturday night, 7.30 p.m. Tickets on sale now. Get them while you can because they won't be available that much longer. Hey, coming up October 7th, Combs, Kentucky, historic. A.B. Combs Elementary, October 7th. Battle lines, the DVD taping, all roads are headed towards Combs, Kentucky. The battle lines are drawn. Who's going to win? Who's going to come out on top? you got to be there to find out. And then AMW live on tour, McKee, Kentucky, the old Jackson County High School, October 12th, 7.30. We're back in McKee. First time in a little while. Maybe won't be. <laughs> Maybe it'll be a while before we get back. You better get the tickets now. And folks, here we are, Jackson, Kentucky, taking a look back at John Noble versus the champion, Sexy Stan Sierra. Hey, coming into uh, coming into Jackson, Kentucky, we all thought it was going to be Stan Sierra versus Eddie Browning for the title. Eddie Browning not in the house, and John Noble steps up. Takes uh, takes a shot here at the champ and looks it looks like he's got his hands full right now. But uh, John has performed well in this matchup so far. We're joining it in progress as Phil Fair taking his taking the boots right to John Noble, putting those uh, putting those designer boots he's got in uh, into John Noble's side there. Not a wrestler, but he'll make sure to to inflict as much pain as he can as Stan Sierra comes out of nowhere. Referee attending to feel fair and Stan Sierra taking the cane, choking John Noble outside here uh, next to the ring apron. Just tragic here what's going on in Jackson, Kentucky. John Noble uh, now uh, near and dear to the folks in Breathitt County but when you're when it's two on one and one of them is the the likes of a sexy Stan Sierra the odds are always stacked against you as Stan Sierra mounting John Noble here submission attempt Referee checking on John Noble. Noble looks to be uh, still hanging in there for the time being. Making his way, uh, making his way up to his feet. Stan Sierra grabs the rope, punches Noble in the head, slings him off the ropes. John Noble goes for the sunset flip, has him for the cover. Phil Fair is on the apron. Could probably count to 10 on this one. Sierra kicks out at the referee's two count, by my count, probably about 12 or 13, but Stan Sierra did not have to kick out until the ref puts his hand down for the third time. Body slam, Noble kicks out. Uh, close to that two count there. And Stan Sierra inflicting tons of pain on his way to a possible title defense here. A shot right to the jaw from the champ. Looking like he's given just about all he's got. As soon as I say that, he flies with the crossbody. Almost picks up the championship right there. 
Noble backslide pin attempt. A couple of pin combinations, a roll up. John Noble really coming on strong here, but the champ takes him right off his feet with the big time lariat. And Stan Sierra is back in control of this championship matchup. Goes for the cover there, pulls John Noble's uh, one arm away from the ropes. <laughs> John Noble gets it with the other, then gets the foot up. Uh, going to be hard to keep him away from the ropes with that method. John just a little too close to the rope there to break the count. But now here's Phil Fair right back at it again. John Noble down on his back. And takes the choke attempt from Phil Fair. Well, no attempt about it. He did choke him. Noble still fighting back, though. The blatant rake to the eyes from the champion. And now Phil Fair's got John Noble against him. Sierra oh, nearly knocks Phil off the rope. John does roll up here. Two count only. And now John takes the champ off his feet with a clothesline. Another one ducks through. Big time, the John Noble drop kick goes for the cover. That could be it. Champ kicks out before the three count. But John Noble back in control of this one. Stan Sierra going for the body slam. Misses it. Russian leg sweep. Straight into the cover. That could be it. Three John Noble, the new AMW heavyweight champion, folks. Can you believe it here in Jackson? Looks at the ref to confirm. John Noble looks a little dazed himself, but he knows that he got the three count and he has the title, the belt, the championship, the championship that everyone wants in his hands right now in Breathitt County, Kentucky, as this crowd is absolutely, uh, absolutely losing their minds to see John Noble win the championship here in Jackson, Kentucky. Taking a moment to take it in, the big smile on the face of the champion. What a moment here in Jackson, Kentucky, folks, but Phil Fair's got the mic. Hold on just a second. Number one. We signed to wrestle Eddie Browning. That's who we trained and prepared for in this match, in this title match. And he's not here, so we said we'd give John a match. We didn't say we'd give John a title match. So all you did, John, was win a match. The contract was not you versus Stan Sierra for the championship. It was Stan Sierra defending against Eddie Browning. Eddie didn't make it, so you got a match. You got to win, whoop de do referee, give him his belt back. Nathan Little, you men, go get that belt and give it back right now. Referee knows I'm right. You know I'm right. This is still your champion right here. Wrestling, a love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand, a brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory 
to main eventing in Korokan Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Collar and elbow. The wrestling brand. Are you a member of a church group? Are you a member of a sports team, local school, volunteer fire department, or any other nonprofit? Partner with Appalachian Mountain Wrestling for a fundraiser to bring money to your organization. Have some fun, a night of professional wrestling. Fun for the entire family. Earn some money. Partner with Appalachian Mountain Wrestling and help make wrestling great again. Folks, the Appalachian Mountain Wrestling Back to School Bash Tour heads to Inez, Kentucky, Shelton Clark High School. Their first time in Martin County. You've got to be there September 28th, this Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. Doors open 6.30. Get those tickets while you can. And, hey, another first for Appalachian Mountain Wrestling we head to Blackie, Kentucky, Fletcher Elementary School, September 30th. That's this Saturday night, 7.30 p.m., Tickets on sale now. Get them while you can because they won't be available that much longer. Hey, coming up October 7th, Combs, Kentucky, historic. A.B. Combs Elementary, October 7th. Battle Lines, the DVD taping. All roads are headed towards Combs, Kentucky. The battle lines are drawn. Who's going to win? Who's going to come out on top? you got to be there to find out. And then... AMW live on tour, McKee, Kentucky, the old Jackson County High School, October 12th, 7.30. We're back in McKee, first time in a little while. Maybe won't be, maybe it'll be a while before we get back. You better get the tickets now. Folks, here we get started. Tag team action here on AMW TV. A Bo James, the Mega Destroyer, the family with Misty James taking on Eddie Browning and Jordan Clearwater, and look who's starting it off in the ring, Ryan. Uh, Eddie Brown, I mean, sorry, uh, excuse me, Bo James and Jordan Clearwater starting it off in the ring, and he's got that top wrist lock up on Bo. Uh, Bo's trying to think his way out of this. Oh, and oh, and it's a tag into Eddie. Jordan with the full arm dragon twist, gives it to Eddie, big boot to the arm. Eddie with his full arm dragon twist of his own, really wrenching in that arm. Oh, and Bo right to the eyes. Dastardly cheap tactic, but no matter, Eddie, one step ahead of the game, drop toe hold, going right to that arm, himself on the Mega Destroyer. The Mega Destroyer, a big man, don't know a lot about him, but what I know about Eddie Browning is he is one tough competitor inside the ring. Right? Well, and something I don't know about uh, the Mega Destroyer, uh, who he is, but one thing I do know, somebody that big, if they've got legs, you can chop them down, you can take them out, and that's what Eddie and Jordan need to focus on if they're gonna win this match tonight. Eddie with the fury of kicks and punches, oh, but it does no good with that knee to the gut from Mega Destroyer. And a tag into handsome Bo James. Oh! Shot to the gut, a couple of punches there from the Mega Destroyer himself. No, and Eddie with a full arm dragon twist, really going back to work on that arm on Bo. Tags into Jordan Clearwater. Now, Bo doesn't want to be in this position. Jordan going to the middle rope. He's asking the fans what they want to see, and of course, what do you think? Boom, dig, big double axe handle. Hey, and you're, we've not seen Misty really get involved yet, but you just, well. Uh, and we, as, we, as you say that, Nathan, what is she doing? Holding the tights right there of Jordan. Oh, and the thumb to the throat. The refs really need to get a handle on these guys. Bo James, Mega Destroyer, Misty James are nothing but trouble, nothing but cheaters, and that's exactly what they're doing right now. And this is three on one. The ref totally worried about Eddie Browning. That's not what he needed to be worried about. No, he needs to be focusing. He knows the tactics of these three. He needs to be worried about what they're doing over in their own corner, not what Eddie's trying to do. Eddie's trying to show them exactly what's going on, but of course he's not going to listen to Eddie. He thinks Eddie's trying to cheat. That's not the case at all. Eddie Browning, not a cheater, but he's one of those guys that these these folks prey on how good of a guy he is. Eddie not going to let his partner be uh, be triple teamed in the corner there. He's and absolutely. If, not. And if he's got to go through the ref to get there, he's going to do. He's going to plow right. Through. He's going to drill for him, if you will. The driller himself, but now the driller doing a lot more waiting than drilling as Jordan Clearwater. Real, Powers out right two before count, the three count. Two count only, but Jordan is really showing pain in that arm. And you can see, oh, and, and now the back, they're just trying to take this kid apart. What a shame. Jordan Clearwater, again, beating Bo James multiple times, and Bo 
you hear you hear him when he does commentary with us. You hear him in his interviews. The most, the softest spot on Bo James's body is his ego. Oh yeah, that's that's and, an understatement, Nate. And that's what Bo does not like losing. And Jordan Clearwater, see, look, and Bo. Ag- and again, Bo exa- knows exactly how to manipulate the referee. Eddie Browning trying his best to get to Jordan Clearwater, his partner, who is tag team, double team there right in the middle of the ring. And now the ref turns around. Mega Destroyer, the only one there, and he does not, un- completely unaware of what happened there. I'm telling you guys, the family, they are absolutely vicious. They have no remorse for anything that they do, and they they may be heck to pay when all is said and done after this. He's got him working on the back. The people are trying to get behind Jordan to make that tag to Eddie. Eddie is in that ring. He is ready to make that tag to come in. He's ready to clear house, but he's got to get Jordan to get over there and make that tag. Jordan's got to fight through it. And look at Mega, he goes right through the ring. And the tag, here he comes. Eddie Browning, house of fire, one. Shot for Bo, shot for the destroyer. Another shot for Bo. On fire is the driller right now. Oh, double noggin knocker coming up. Whoop, and Jordan's gonna help. Oh! And I hope for Bo's sake that that headbutt wasn't loaded with a foreign object. Oh, I don't think that one was, but let's, well, who knows? Ooh, big shots. We got action spilling all over the place. We've got Eddie and the Destroyer over in one corner. Misty smacked to the back. We can't, hey, what? The ref, ref's throwing this one out. Just absolute madness here. Jordan Clearwater taken out from behind Come by on. the Mega Destroyer. We, the ref needs to get in, somebody needs to do something. The ref needs to get in there, take care of some action. He, he needs to put a stop to this. This is exactly what I was talking about earlier when Bo James on commentary. Misty James holding oh. Eddie here. Somebody come out and help. This is a shame. Jordan Clearwater, helpless. Oh, Bo's talking about dropping him on his head. Come on, Bo, the match is over with. The match got thrown out. There's no need to do any of this. That kid's got a bright future. That kid, oh, there's a guy. Who is that? There he is, it's Lemon, lemon Juice oh, McGill. Oh my goodness. Hey, who is that? Folks, that is Big that, Rig Jake Break. He is all of seven feet tall. And I think we've got some that reinforcements. Is, that is Big Rig Jake Break, seven feet tall, rumored to be over 800 pounds. I don't know how true that is, but look at him. He's, he just stepped over the top rope. And Bo and the Mega Destroyer and Misty are nowhere to be found. Doesn't this, even lift a finger, just steps in the ring and the family retreats. Look, it picks him up one-handed. Did you see that, Nate? Looks like he picked him up with one hand. And Bo trying to parade out of here as the king of the mountains, but I, you know what? After that tactic, look at these guys in the ring. Lemon Juice McGee sends his man out, Big Rig Jake Brake, to help out what's going on. Hey, Whoa. I don't know who that idiot is, Bo, but he's got in the wrong people's business. Well, and, and you just heard the, uh, Bo James coming over and say he's, he's messing the wrong people's business, but but Bo, I think he was doing the right thing to come out and help while, while Bo and his family were trying to hurt that poor young man, Jordan, Jordan Clearwater. Folks, you all, you all saw that. Bo James, Misty James, the Mega Destroyer, the family, Really, uh, really, that match got out of hand. Eddie Jordan, you guys have anything to say about what happened during the match? Nathan, let me tell you something right now. I am sick to death of the family, and I know everyone in this gymnasium tonight is sick to death of the family. I'm tired of them sticking their noses in where it doesn't belong. I'm tired of it being two on one, three on two. We are sick and tired of Bo James and his little cronies. Jordan, tell them about it. Weeks and weeks they come out here with someone new, but guess what? We've got someone on our side right here. The battle lines are drawn. You know where we stand, we know where you stand, and we'll see you out in that ring. Folks, don't turn the channel just yet. More AMW just after this break. Interview with Big Rick, Jake Break, and Lemon Juice McGee coming up. But hey, back to School Bash Store heads to Inez, Kentucky this Thursday night, our first trip to Martin County. 
Get your ticket so you can be a part of history there in Inez, Kentucky. And then September 30th, we make our trek to Letcher Elementary in Blackie, Kentucky. First time ever over in Letcher Elementary. Make sure to be there with us. Get the tickets while you can on sale right now. And again, we can't tell you enough. Get ready for the Battle Lines DVD taping. Combs, Kentucky, historic A.B. Combs Elementary. A lot of great wrestling has went on in that gymnasium over the years, and that continues October the 7th as AMW gets there for the first time. And then McKee, Kentucky, the old Jackson County High School. We return to Jackson County, McKee, Kentucky, October 12th. 7.30 p.m. You guys be there with us. Make wrestling great again. But now let's hear from Lemon Juice McGee. Wrestling fans, Ryan Dukey here with Lemon Juice McGee and Big Rig Jake Bray. And although we haven't seen him in an officially sanctioned match yet, we've seen what he can do, and I think he's going to have some people terrified. Terrified? I, I think that is an understatement. You saw, they saw, I saw. came out, ran everyone scared like little babies out of the AMW ring. Fantastic. The odds were even. I think now the question is, who, who, who's going to get over there fair? Who is going to take up the very first match as his opponent here in Appalachian Mountain Wrestling? 